An iconic skyscraper will be among the tallest in the world when it's completed in the next few months. But it's already making headlines not just for its height, but also for its state-of-the-art earthquake proofing. The 73-story Wilshire Grand Center in Los Angeles rises 338 meters towards the sky. The $1.2 billion building is designed to ride out major seismic quakes in the Los Angeles basin. Like a reed in the wind, it bends in a seismic event, but the bending is retarded by BRBs, buckling restraint braces, which are very large, 35 foot long shock absorbers that absorb the energy and delay. And that really is like the analogy of a skier going down the hill who relies on his ski poles to bounce off the, the hill and absorb the energy with his arms. Construction of the skyscraper faced many challenges. A steel perimeter frame had to be connected by outrigger restraint braces like the arms and poles of a skier to provide balance. Eleven earthquake simulations were carried out using historical earthquake data that California had actually experienced in the past. They had to make sure that the building was strong enough, but they also had to make sure that the building was what we call ductile. And by ductility, we mean something that can exceed its strength and yet not fail. So a good example of that would be bending a paperclip. You, know, you bend the paperclip and you've exceeded its strength, but the paperclip doesn't fail. Contrast that with a sheet of glass. You take a hammer to the sheet of glass, it's there one second and gone the next. And we don't want our buildings to behave like a sheet of glass. Instead, we'd like them to be ductile. The center stands to be one of the most complicated skyscraper projects ever built in one of the most earthquake-prone areas in the world. Experts say it will change the skyline of Los Angeles as the city continues to grow at a rapid pace.